it's me I'm back at it again did you miss me cuz I missed you it's been a fat minute since I posted on here and I could cry about it but we're not gonna go there life just goes up and down and all around and sometimes the things that you're passionate about you just can't seem to get there does anybody feel like that like sometimes I'm sitting there and I feel like I'm in this this is gonna sound really dark but like it's not it's okay this is just how it is for me but I feel like I'm like in this little bubble right and like outside of the bubble is all of my hopes and dreams and then I'm just kind of like in the bubble and I can't reach any of them but I see them I know how to do them I know how they'll work but I just like can't get there I guess some could call that depression but I don't know I wouldn't necessarily say I'm depressed it's just I uh I like it's maybe I am depressed <laughs> no I'm not I don't think I am I mean even if I am who cares it goes up and down everybody's a little depressed sometimes and in this reality and existence how could you not fall into that I don't know like that's the thing I struggle with I don't know I love watching all these movies about this existence and like all the different realities and stuff but when I do do that it kind of like sends me into this little tunnel of like none of this is real and it's so hard to be motivated and to like really try when you feel like none of it is real but then like the other side of that is also beautiful because when you think about it you can literally accomplish and do anything you set your mind to like this is your reality and you can create it and like with through manifesting and through like conscious like thought processes like I don't know we are so in control and that's what's scary but it's also really beautiful you know and so I think that like the past couple of months I've been stuck in the darker side of that where I feel like holy crap like this is all so fake and like what's the point of any of it and I just like could not think I couldn't figure out what I wanted who I was what I wanted to represent in all of this right and now I feel like I'm kind of coming more into myself like I'm realizing that I have these gifts and I have these talents and I have this all of these thoughts that I want to share with the world and I think also just like YouTube can be kind of scary when you think about it being your career but I don't necessarily want this to be my career and I hate that we have to like put a monetary value on all of our talents and all of our passions like can't you just do something because you like it not because you're gonna make money from it you know and so yeah I just like I've been going through all of that and I kind of just decided you know what I'm just gonna start you just gotta start somewhere and why not start with a thrift haul am I right ladies so this is the first thing that I got actually um, which I'm like really in love with wearing men's like extra extra large button ups. They have such sick ones and right now I am trying to manifest um, a, a shirt that's like black with blue flames coming up and so if any of you want to like help me manifest that just put me into your like daily manifestations I would be very thankful. But today I did find this super sick cheetah print one and I got it for like three bucks. I'm obsessed with cheetah print like I have so much cheetah print I probably could make an entire outfit of cheetah print and I probably have done that before the next thing I got is just this cute little like graphic tee that I probably would have worn in elementary school with a skirt and some like like one pair of red converse and one pair of black converse or something but it just says I'm so over Valentine's Day which is super cute and I got I'm probably gonna list on my Depop because it's a little too big for me but it was too cute for me to pass up and it's just this black belt with little cherries all over it. The next thing I got, I've been looking for like a classic just black dress that's like kind of fancy. There's a word for it and I don't know why I can't think of it. It's not like, is it like little black dress LBD or something? You know what I'm talking about? Like everyone's like, everyone has to have a little black dress. So I found one today which is so cute. I love the length of it. Like lately I've been going for longer things which I never thought I could pull off because I figured only like super tall tiny people could fit in like could pull that off but you know what you can wear whatever the hell you want and if you're confident in it you'll look fly as hell and I could also dress this up or dress this down like if I just threw a t-shirt underneath or like a stripe long sleeve or something that would look really cute the next thing I got is this cute little like lacy y2k tank top and I really like this because it has a built-in bra and for all the big titty girls out there I feel you on the whole tiny tank top trend like you, it sucks because you can't 
keep the girlies up, right? But this one has a built-in bra, so that's beautiful. The next thing I got is this oversized teal sweatshirt that says Deer Valley on it. Um, I got this for $3, so like, you know, but also it's really hot now, and so I don't need to be buying sweaters, and so I'm probably gonna list this on Depop, so look out for that. The next thing I got, I'm so excited for, and I'm definitely gonna wear this on a night out, because look at her. Look at this baby, and it has like, she has like bell-bottom sleeves. Can we talk about that? Um, it's super old Charlotte Russe, which is pretty cute. And um, yeah, I just, I'm a sucker for anything with sequins or sparkles. I, if it's sparkles or sequins, I will run to it in the thrift store and I will purchase it. But yeah, I'm excited for that. The next thing I got, um, I've been obsessed with skirts lately. Like I used to never wear skirts. I used to hate skirts and think I couldn't pull them off and like I didn't know how to wear them. Um, but now, and like I only wore shorts, but now I like can't, I feel like so gross in shorts. I don't know. I feel like shorts are not my thing anymore and I'm obsessed with skirts. And this skirt, I was so excited to find. I got it for like $2 because it was in the kids section. The next thing I found are these Dickies pants and they're red and black striped. Um, and then it just says like Dickies on the inside. Oh, look at it. The next thing I found, I had been manifesting these for so long, and when I saw them at the thrift store, I like almost cried, and then I saw that they were not in my size, and so I did cry, but they are in my boyfriend's size, so I'm just gonna give them to him because I love him. You're welcome, David. But yeah, these are Comme des Garcons Converse, like... Can we talk? Also, I don't know if the zoom is different. My memory it became full. My mem- how do you say that? My memory is was full and so I had to delete a video and I think the zoom changed. So if you notice that, you're not tripping. It was my fault. Hee <laughs> hee, sorry. The next thing was very miscellaneous, but I got a bag full of bubbles for a dollar. And then I saved the best for last. I got this baby today for literally two dollars and like, I don't know I love okay I love Betty Boop stuff like I have this little Betty Boop clock like I have a tattoo that looks like Betty Boop I have like Betty Boop signs in my room I'm just obsessed with Betty Boop and this one is like if I could design my own freaking Betty Boop bag it would literally be this like can we talk look at her so that is everything that I thrifted just this week I was gonna do like a collective thrift haul but then that video would probably be like half an hour long um, and I know I would like to watch that but I don't know about y'all so I was thinking maybe because I thrift like literally every week I could just do like what I thrifted this week or like thrift outfits of the week or something so I don't know we'll see but the moral of the story is I'm back and I'm better than ever and I'm ready and I'm so excited to be here and I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video Hello.